guys. This is about it. Fat in the Philippines. Look at CJ. Jam packed. <laughs> you got an icy bowl and he's jam packed with all the groceries around him. OMG. Well, guys, we just got back from shopping. I've, uh, I've had our lunch. CJ's outside playing with uh, Snowy. That is our lamp uh, for out here near the laundry. I've just taken it down because it's all powder residue and I'm cleaning the um, powder residue off the lamp. So, uh, good due to uh, a lot of sun. So, I'll get it ready for painting. I might hand paint it. Uh, same colour. So, that's that, but I've also got to change a globe. That's the uh, lamp holder. I've, it's come away from the um, brick wall there, so I'm going to try and see if I can remount it back um, to the wall uh, and see how we go. It's got a bit of powder residue as well on it. Um, but unfortunately I can't get to that. I'll have to clean it off a bit better. Sorry about that shaky hands. But we'll put a globe in there for a new globe which I've got here. They are long lasting globes. CJ's just playing down there, having fun in the garden. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to get a new doormat very soon. <laughs> Daddy's got to re-render these ponds and get them... Um, back to uh, a bit of condition there's a few gaps over there and there's a cracked bit here which needs to be re-cemented but I'm also going to cement the uh, channel around there to the uh, little rock wall there and cement all that in and cement uh, down here all the way down to the bottom pond cement all around the outlet there uh, light cement around the silicon See how we go there. Um, and where that rock is, I've got to pull that plastic back. And uh, I might silicon that. We'll see what happens. Because I can cement underneath that rock. Up as far as the plastic behind it. And uh, over the other side where the green plants the points of the green plants are cement around there and around the rim uh, which is around here excuse the fingers guys um, also around this part here uh, I'll lift the hose up and I'll cement all that bottom area there as well and go over the top of that other bit of render that I had there but I've got to buy some more cement so um, rocks will go up above that once I uh, re-cement all around there uh, having a little bit of leak problem at the moment guys uh, Plus, I think uh, that pumps, uh, 
either too fast or too slow. Uh, it's either uh, pouring out more water and uh, too slow to put it back in. So I've got to work something out there. But I'm going to take the hose off where it is joined with the clear and I'll just run the black hose straight in on top of the pump. Uh, that's another thing I've got to do, so that's that job. I'll go around the other side, hang on. My main part is, that little part there, that was never holding water. But now all of a sudden, yippee, it's holding water again, which is good. Um, so I'm happy about that. Uh, we will cement where this white silicon is around and up there and along to just underneath where those little three little stones are I will cement there um, not going too close to the uh, Streslecki and around the rim here uh, I will cement and also up at the back so what I'll do is like a uh, wall at the top and a wall around the plastic and we'll see how we go um, from there. So what it'll be is a wall, right, a, a lip right along the top of the black plastic and I'll move the um, dirt away from it so I can do that and then I'll just smoothen it in and uh, it'll be like a uh, yeah a wall and it'll make it easier to do I know it's pretty hard for me to explain what I'm doing the pond's a little bit uh, murky at the moment but I haven't en I haven't emptied the pond for the reason that when I cement it the cement won't stick to the black plastic is what I want what I don't want Okay, I don't want the cement sticking to the black plastic, so um, not just for the moment. It could come down a little bit more so I can get that little bit more of a lip, so I'll have, probably have to vacuum that. But the water's holding all right there, but I want it to come up a bit more, um, which will be good to hold a bit more water. So that's what I'm looking at. Um, eventually that'll happen, but... One project at a time, and we'll get that uh, sorted out. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting um, this done. Uh, at the moment, can't do because Bunny is are shut. Yes, we can phone, order, but I want to go in and see what cement I need. I have a Pacific brand which I buy, so I want to see if I can get it in the bigger bags. But... Uh, yeah, it's looking, it'll look good when it's finished again. I know it looked good before, but uh, I've got to move a couple of rocks. I've got to move that big rock just there without it caving in on me, uh, without all the other stuff caving down. So that's another big job there before I start cementing um, that area. So we'll take... A bit of time and get it all organized. So, Daddy's going to get back to putting that light back up. CJ's having fun chasing Snowy around. I don't think she's having too much fun with CJ at the moment, but she always seems to duck out of the way, doesn't she, CJ? <laughs> oh, I don't know, he squeals. He squeals. <laughs> he got got uh, covered in um, all the groceries. Uh, that was at the start of this video, but uh, he had fun while we were shopping. Grass is starting to come back. Over there, not so much. It's in little patches, I don't know why, maybe because of the trees, shade of the trees will stop the sun from shining, 
uh, onto the grass but then you know come summer it'll hit there pretty good don't bring your bike down here please <laughs> anyway this has been Scott X but Philippines will catch you later bye for now oh live stream tonight 12 o'clock Australia time uh, 10 o'clock Philippine time uh, the same Sunday and uh, the same Monday 12 o'clock Australia time a.m. Um, 10 p.m. Philippine time um, we will be I have made a decision um, to keep the live streams going Monday uh, Friday to uh, Monday of a night time I'll just do two during the day um, for the moment and we'll see how things go all right I uh, just changed my mind on that. I was thinking about it today. So, uh, all's good there. Snowy's in the jungle. <laughs> there she goes. Her little playmate. I tell you what, she rows about him. She keeps her eyes on him. No stress, which is good. And she'll bark if she sees something around here. I keep me wits about me because... We have had a couple of tiger snakes in the backyard. Um, I'll show you where they came from. But before I do, these, this plant here is doing pretty good. These ones where I've shifted them here, they're doing good. Eventually they'll have more of those purple um, things on them they're doing pretty good there they're similar to an agapanther panther but a little bit different and that one looks like a moose head you can put bananas in that and they uh, it, uh eats the bananas um like you know breaks down in the plants so i've got to finish off what i'm doing up the top with the light but that's just another look. Mum's silver princess is doing well. I need to get a steak from Bunnings. That's that plant right here. That's doing okay. Uh, which is good. Uh, my geranium's doing good there. The irises are doing well. They're coming up really good. Uh, I've got to try not to uh, tread on them. Uh, these lilies are doing okay. Got one here and one over there and a couple over the, there. They'll grow back eventually. Uh, excuse the mess over there. That's uh, one of mum's plants. I have a little bit of rubbish which is going to break down and I will use it as mulch I just left it there for the moment that tree over there is doing okay slowly but everything's looking good the creek's coming gonna come on all right once I get everything sorted out I'll fix that up in a minute I've got to fix that rock and the other one up I'm gonna get up through the back way to come into there and move that rock out the way and without trying to let it all fall down I've got to remove I'm not sure whether I should remove that yellow cactus but we'll see um, it seems to be doing okay it's just goes yellow and then comes back so no stress this bush in snowy just push your way through. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that tree's growing all right. I've got to put a shade up for it because, as you can see, the sun come summer that's going to get burnt real bad. So I need to put like a sh make up a shade, uh, a stand with shade on it to stop it from um, probably just get too pieces of uh, stick and put a bit of plastic and nail it and then just put it like a uh, shield 
to stop the sun from burning the plant. It uh, got severely burnt during summer and it's just starting to come back again. So I don't want to have them have that uh, die out on me. Anyway, we'll catch you later guys. This has been Scott Expert in the Philippines. Take care, enjoy, have a fun day. Bye for now.